Good morning guys. November 18th, the last and final day for Bridget's hunt. The good news is we got permission to hunt in this private land and it's not huge but it's plenty and I think if we just kind of work this work this ridge real slow we're kind of on the top of this mesa bench I think if we work it real slow I think we can get an opportunity there's some steep side hill draws that we can check too it's uh gonna be overcast today and it's cold last night the storm blew out earlier than we thought but there's a fresh blanket of snow and there's plenty of snow still up here so that's gonna be nice for checking fresh tracks and it's really easy to see the deer in the snow we are gonna get ready here in about 10 minutes just kind of let light let, let it get a little lighter and uh, actually let my phone charge a little bit just so we can keep on our onyx maps make sure that we always stay on this this private we can go on the public we just can't hunt it and we can't shoot a deer on it or shoot a deer from it so we have to be in the pipe in the private land we're just going to walk this little two track go real slow look for deer and just kind of really take our time so hard that he won't stop for a shot he's about 500 yards away earlier he was 430 in the trees but he's pushed this doe into some timber and we haven't seen him come out yet so we're just gonna hold him tight we've got some smaller bucks down below us but uh this one that's rutting hard is a big buck so we're just gonna be patient and see if we can't get a crack at him just waiting for him to come back out of this timber again because they're running all over <laughs> crazy all right guys we got the buck looks like he's done with that doe and he's just out there all by himself so we're getting Bridget set up on this rock right here unfortunately we don't have the spotting scope so we won't be able to get any footage like that so we're just gonna be patient wait for him to turn broadside and uh, try to get this buck down so Let's see what happens. He's walking our way just a little bit, which is perfect. It's gonna make sure Bridget can see him really, really good. I'm getting nervous. Well guys, we have the greatest news for you. Bridget just shot a buck right there across the canyon at 500 yards. The big buck that we saw rutting that doe, we're actually kind of sneaking around and Bridget saw the doe like headed right towards a tree line. So at that point I thought, man, he must be done with her. I mean, that buck 100% yeah. pushed that doe into these trees and we really had a Got feeling that, that he bred her. So she was about to the tree line to the other deer and I was like, this buck has to be somewhere. Started just gridding it and there he was all alone feeding in the sagebrush. Anyways, once he bailed off kind of the top onto the steep side hill, we got 500 Good and range, uh, yeah. he was working from right to left. And I whistled just to make sure he'd stop. He was kind of going really did. slow. Stop right on this rock outcropping. And she nailed him, guys. Probably hit him. I don't. I'm guessing mid body because his leg, his back legs dropped first. Really. Probably paralyzed his back legs, and then he 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 literally didn't move. Dead in his tracks. Really? Uh, see, I didn't see this happen. I couldn't find him probably because he was on the ground. But uh, yeah, and it was so good the way he whistled because the whole he was moving pretty fast, like not nervous, but just moving across and the whole time I was falling with him but I couldn't shoot with him moving so much so finally when Eric did a real good whistle and he just stopped I just shot yeah. and it was perfect and like I said I don't have my scope so I'm using these vortex 18 power uh <laughs> Kai babs and I was right on him this is where she was set up right where we were getting set up before and uh shooting the weather be 3378 and it's a done deal game over so she got her buck on the last so day happy. <laughs> yeah. i've had the toughest season so like to actually harvest something is unreal feels good so guys we're gonna go take care of this buck it shouldn't take us too long to get him out and get there take this thing off the mountain and get out of here feels good we're getting 
the uphill portion of this hike started, this recovery mission. We just got to go up a steep side hill, which is, we were on the opposite side of the canyon when we shot. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is going to be a really convenient pack out because it is so steep. It's snowy, and I think we'll just gut him and drag him down full body. It's plenty cold, especially in the shade. He's right up, right up on, right where you can't see on the top of that. Yeah, just keep going straight up. <laughs> it's steep, huh? Getting some elevation. These rocks over here on the other side. That's where we were when Bridget shot. So we're about 70 yards below the buck. Bridget will get to put her hands on her first ever Colorado mule deer. First ever rifle one, right? Yeah. Caught one with my bow, my muzzleloader, now a rifle. It's a trifecta. I've never even done that. <laughs> first ever in Colorado. First ever buck in Colorado. First hunt. First time hunting here. Yeah. Dang! There he is! Wow. Good luck. Wow, those are the back forks that I saw in there. Hoo hoo, baby! He's a 3 by 4 Is he? He's nice though, he's like old. Yeah. He is three by four. Dang. That's so cool. And look, yep, high back like we thought. Yep, mid body. That's what I saw in the trees. Good, Good job. Good. He's heavy. <laughs> he is. For his size, he's pretty And heavy. he's got eye guards, how cool. Heck yeah. How cool. He did not go far from where you first hit him. Like no. basically turned and dropped. It's awesome. He was definitely the dominant buck over on this side. Yeah. Chasing all the does around. And you can tell by his antlers, like he's old. Like look how bladed he is down there. Mm hmm Yep, three by four. How cool. cool. <laughs> Good job, babe. Thanks, babe. All right, we finally drug him out of there and got some photos. Here's Bridget's buck. Really cool four by three. We did not notice that he did not split on the front, but again, we didn't have a spotting scope. We could just tell he's a nice buck. Honestly, the best opportunity at a mature buck on private land that we've had. So we're happy. She's got her no mess dress kit. Family run business out of Idaho. These guys are great guys. They sell those online on their website. And she's about ready to tear into this thing and gut it yeah. and drag it out of here. Can I use your knife, please, to tag it? Yep, she flew uh, without a knife. She didn't have any check bags, so there's the knife. Mm -hmm. Tag it and drag it. Time to get out of here. Bridget just gutted him up. We kind of like cut the little flanks off of there just so it could air out and breathe really good. But we are just going to drag him straight down. Whew. Luckily for us, we got like a couple inches of fresh snow last night. So I think the deer should slide pretty good. If not pretty good, then maybe too good. We don't want to get dangerous with him, so we're going to take it nice and easy. Here he is. Really cool buck. How nice is this? A little slippery up here. <laughs> and it is plenty cold for this guy. He's tagged. I'm not gonna lie and say we're carrying that thing for miles. We weren't. But uh, we got lucky. Every now and then you take one like that. Drag what? it right to the road. Nothing no. wrong with that. That was weird. I feel like I haven't <sighs> done anything. I know. It's so funny because we shot so far away but didn't even have to. We didn't have to drag him as far as we shot him. Yeah. 